With a whopping 30,400 milliamp hour battery, nine different connections and a solar panel to keep things charging, the Jackery Solar Generator 1000 V2 is an epic power station that can power almost anything. So hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So full disclosure before we get started though, the video is sponsored by Jackery and they've sent me the Solar Generator 1000 V2 for free to showcase to you guys. So when it comes to power banks and power stations, I'm a big fan of the bigger ones as they're great for having in the garden, taking camping or just using outside where you don't have power. But the previous ones we've shown on this channel have been pretty limited with the power output. Now this changes however with the Jackery Solar Generator 1000V2 as it's got a peak power output of 3000 watts which is unbelievable, but more importantly it's got a rated power of 1500 watts. So this means it can do higher wattages for short periods of time, but it can do 1500 watts continuously, which is a lot of power. Now this opens up a whole world of new opportunities for power banks and power stations, as you can now power things like small microwave ovens, a coffee maker, small heaters, a projector, portable refrigerators, and even power tools. Now after I'd unboxed the power station, I was in the kitchen and the most power hungry thing that I have in there is my coffee machine. So we'll just take a look at how it performs with that. Right, so I thought we'd do some testing. So that, you can see won't turn on, that is the plug for the coffee machine. So I turn the AC port on, plug that in, and that's beeped. So we're going from our output. It turns on. That's a good start. Will it work? That's pretty impressive already that it can turn the coffee machine on. So this one takes a little while, but it is working. There's water coming out. It just does a clean before you use it for the first time. Just check the some coffee beans are in there. All right, now that's that. It's done. We'll see if it can actually make a cup of coffee. everything. See there the output, so it went to about 1500 watts while it was doing the grinding. Now it's at 1130-ish, fluctuating up and down. Actually, that's a lot of power, so I'm impressed that it can just continually put out this power. I won't get too excited till I see my coffee. <laughs> can also hear the fan going. Output's dropping down a lot now. Hopefully the coffee is going to dispense it. Ah, there you go. So it's whew, shooting up to near 1500 again as it dispenses the coffee. And that's just going to be from heating up the water, I imagine. But as you can see, it even works with a massive coffee machine. So as you can see, it just breathes the coffee machine and it does cross over that 1500 watt rated power mark, which makes the 3000 watt peak very useful because there are going to be lots of things that will briefly go over that, but not continuously. Now, another thing I was very impressed with is the solar panel. For a start, it folds up to a nice compact shape, which makes it easy to carry around. And then you can just unfold it in seconds and set it up. We've got stands on the back to hold it in place. And then we've even got this guide where you have to put the shadow in the center to make sure we're getting the most solar power possible. And we don't have to worry about if the weather changes thanks to IP68 water resistance. Now I've not actually had much experience with solar power yet. So this is pretty much a first for me, but I live in the UK where the weather isn't the best and the sun doesn't come out too often. And when it does, it isn't that hot. But the day I unboxed this, the sun was actually out, so I went out to do a test straight away. So as you can see, we started with 31% battery. I then laid out the solar panels, set everything up and aligned the power bank next to it. I then walked away for an hour, came back and we're at 38%, so this is pretty good. Now the website claims that you can charge it fully with the solar panel in 15 hours, so this does seem about right. Now solar power isn't the only way to charge it of course, and we can charge it directly from the mains which is going to take about one and a half hours. And there's even an emergency charging feature within the app that can charge it within an hour. And then finally, if you're out and about on a road trip or camping, you can charge it with the 12 volt charger off your car and this takes about 12 hours. When it comes to connecting devices to either charge or power them, we're also not short of options. We've got the car port, which is 12 volt 10 amp DC. We've also got a USB-C one port, which is capable of 30 watts power output. So it's suitable for phones and small electronics. And then the second USB port is an impressive 100 watt output. So this is going to be suitable for much larger electronics and laptops. 
Now we've got a USB-A port capable of 18 watts, and then we've got the AC power outlets. And of course, I'm in the UK, so it's a UK plug. But if you're in the USA, for instance, then you'll get two USA plug sockets. And then we've got a light, which is going to be useful for camping or carrying it around in the dark. And you can choose between low light, high light, or even an SOS. Now we've also got the two buttons to turn AC and DC power on or off. And this means that they're not always left on, which might drain a little bit of battery, even if you don't have things plugged in. Now, another great feature is the display, and this lets us know exactly what's going on. And it's going to tell you the input power, the output power, the battery percentage left, and it even tells you how many hours it can remain powering at the current rate for. There's also an app for even more functionality, and you can pair the power station with your phone via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And you can see on the app, it displays all of the information that we had on the power station's display. We can turn DC and AC power on or off, which means that you could even use it as a bit of a smart switch. We're also able to turn the light on and choose the exact setting we want, whether that's low, high or SOS. And then next, we can choose how long the screen remains on for. There's also lots more customization in the app settings, and you can change the name. You can change charge mode from fast charging to quiet charging, as well as setting an energy saving mode if required. And then, as I said, we've also got the emergency charge mode, and this will charge the device fully in just one hour when needed. But this is for emergency use only, and it's not recommended to keep using it. Then at the bottom, we've got information about the device, as well as the firmware upgrades in the user manual. Now, overall, I have to say I'm really impressed with the Jackery Solar Generator 1000 V2. It's small and it's compact, which makes it easy to carry around, especially with this built-in handle. And it weighs just under 24 pounds, so it's not too heavy either. Now, the body is made out of plastic, but it feels solid and well-built. And I think it would definitely be able to survive its fair share of being knocked about. And just the amount of ports along with the huge amount of AC power it can deliver just makes this an incredibly versatile power station. Now I've got a light to install up in the loft, so my first job with this is going to be using it to power a light up there so I can see what I'm doing while I install the new one. So for those of you that want to check it out, I've placed the link down in the description below, so you can go ahead and take a look now. For the Jackery Solar Generator 1000 V2, it's currently on a limited time offer for £599 using the link in the description and the voucher, which is an incredible price for what you get here. But the fact that you can power heaters, coffee machines, and even power tools, it just speaks for itself. Now, hopefully I've covered everything in today's video, but if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech.